Hey Anonymi, welcome to a long overdue coin show video. I am here with my junior. Say hey, junior. Hi. Uh, we had a really fun time at the coin show today, and uh, it was, uh, I don't know, it was fun. We'll describe it as we go. Junior found some things that weren't coins that one of the dealers was selling, and he wanted to start off with those, and we'll go through them kind of quick. Um, they were selling... He had a deal on some old, and I think most of you know by now, we're, we're in the Kansas City metro area. That's all the, that's the most specific I'll get, but we're in the, that metro, and so we, we're big Chiefs fans. And uh, there were a lot of Chiefs cards here for two for a dollar? Yeah, two for a dollar. Yeah, and some of these were on the Chiefs team in the championship a couple of years ago, and some of them leading up to that team, sort of part of the same core. So there's Kareem Hunt. There's Tyron Matthew. Alex Smith, Eric Berry, he was a, a cornerback on defense, Eric Fisher, pro bowl uh, tackle, left tackle, blindside, and Sammy Watkins. Now, here was the final one that Junior got kind of excited about. This is a 1994 rookie card from a, a wide receiver named Lake Dawson. He played for Notre Dame. Um, he was he was a good receiver, not great, but he got to play with Joe Montana, and he was part of that cool 1994 Chiefs team. It was a very exciting time to be a Chiefs fan, and uh, he got that for a buck, so he was pretty pretty and it's pumped. Autograph, so I think that's cool. Genuine autograph. It's fun to get an autograph for a dollar. So, although not famous, it's fun, right? Junior wanted me to start with my coins, and then he'll finish with his coins. So I had I had a short list of. Of things, I, I'm really close to finishing a couple of collections, and so I'm trying to fill the final holes. And so I, I tried to focus on the, my uh, dimes. And so this is the final silver dime that I needed for my Roosevelt silver dime collection. It is a very common date, 57D, but I needed it. I kept forgetting to buy it. Um, I needed the 66 and 67 SMS dimes. I already had the 65. So it was silvers and then a few of these special strikes. And then the other special strike I needed before I buy the clad in bulk was the 96 West Point. I don't know if you guys knew this. It, it slipped by me for a number of years, but the 1996 Mint set came with a bonus 1996 West Point dime. So I needed that special strike. Uh, my quarter album is uh, all the silver's done. I needed this is the last modern proof silver that I needed, and it's it's not great, but it's just filling a hole in an album. I'm fine with this. Uh, I mean, it's 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 hazy, but the condition is not bad. It's just hazy. You could dip that if you wanted to, but I, I won't. I'll just stuff it in the album. Uh, and that was one of my last album fillers. I think the only silver. Washington I need left right now is the 58 proof and I kept finding ugly ones at the show but not pretty ones uh, thing I didn't need but I loved 42 s this one had really cool color so this is not that bright white silver that you see and it had a just a touch of rainbow and I'm not sure if I can convey that to you while we sit here but the reverse had the most color. Uh, the, the card said five full steps. That's not true. Under this third column here, it's it's weak. I could probably do a zoom for you. This third column, there's weakness that removes the possibility of full steps. There it is. You, you can see. Uh, it's a nice nickel. I'm not knocking the nickel. In fact, they bought it, so I'm not knocking it, but um, it's not full steps. Um, this one, yeah, the color is what did it for me. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous color. This is not an ender the way that the other one was a couple of months ago. It's on both sides. I really, just really love the color on this one. And the one of my album is actually a little bit weak, so this is going to be an amazing album upgrade. And then last but not least, this is the big dog. 
I couldn't walk from this. This is an 1884 New Orleans issue. I would grade this about MS-62. The grade is not super duper high, but this is proof-like. I could not, I cannot walk from it. It was, you can see the reflection. This is a proof-like coin. And there is cameo contrast as well. So that makes it even more desirable. Amazing eye appeal. Not a tip-top grader, but beautiful eye appeal. Cartwheel lusters on, on fire. Just look at that. And so how am I supposed to walk past that? I got this for about half of what I would expect to pay for it, which is why I could not walk. So I hope you enjoy that one. All right, Junior, do you want to do any of the talking here or do you want me to do it? Uh, I'll do a little bit. You talk so, and I'll show. I'll start with a 1939 B, if my memory's correct. Yep. And if you don't know, I'm working on a nickel collection. Yep, he's got a nice Downs Code nickel book that he's working on. Uh, luster on this is banging, and it's a reverse of 40. Uh, I don't recall if that's more rare or less rare, but um, the cool thing about it is that it's a great strike. The un the only only not cool thing about this, the only uncool thing is that it would have gotten full steps if not for that big nick. You can see that bag mark. Bam, it got hit by another nickel. So that's why it was priced the way it was. I think it would have cost four or five times more if it was full steps. But sweet, gorgeous, reflective, lustrous nickel. Then this next one, 1973 P. I think. Yeah, I got this for Junior. And it's like a gold tone. He, um, I needed a, this, this, I, normally I don't talk prices. I try to just make this about collecting, but I bought this 66 SMS and it was 35 cents. <laughs> and so I uh, went through the album and I picked a few more things that could round us up to a dollar so we wouldn't have to make change. And this was one of them. It's just a nice 73. Seven times as much as it is itself. Yep. And then the next one's a 73D clean. And this was also beautiful. part of that deal, rounding up to the next dollar. Then a 79D. Also part of that rounding up to the next dollar deal. So those four, yeah, that was it. Those four were the $1, like $1 buy. And then the next one is nice. I think... The guy said it was MS-65, but I think it's not that. Yeah, the slab, a little the little card here said 65. We we think maybe 64, but it had great luster, and um, it had some distracting marks in the field. But uh, good, good strike, beautiful luster. Not full steps, but it has some steps. Like, they labeled it steps, but I don't think it's full. But anyway, that's going to look amazing in Junior's album. I think that leaves you only with the 42P in silver to get. Is that right? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. But that's it, guys. We had a blast. I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, this is my my baby for the day, so I'm very excited about it. Junior, what was your favorite that you got? Autograph. Autograph football I, card. I like my coins, but that just... I don't get that every day. Yeah. So one of the cheapest things he bought was his favorite. And that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our, our coin show stop. And we'll try to get some more videos out. We've been uh, just very busy with the new baby. So apologies for being behind. But um, give us a, a, a like and share our stuff if you want to. And we'll see you in the next one. Happy hunting.